It's another day in paradise. I'm starting to lose sleep at nights. I am lashed with sweat. And obviously jocks think the same, it's like canny before he kills. Do you know what weight you are? Ah, my morning is going so well. <laughs> Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Today is another day in paradise. We're sheep farming in Ayrshire, in the west coast of Scotland. Things couldn't be much sweeter. We have Jock out again today as well. Things are just getting better and better. You may notice this little gem here. Valley Blacknose, very popular breed. Very cute breed, as they would say, and a very expensive breed. He has been running with my Jacob ewes, as you can see there. And this, this little Shetland thing that's very, very petty. But his job's done. He's finished, he's had 23 days, which is over a full term. And I'm starting to lose sleep at nights, worrying about him. Because I've only got a loan of him from someone who paid a lot of money for him. So I want to get him back in one piece. So he's had a go, we'll get him back to the owner. We've got a few jobs to do today. Some other things like that, shifting some sheep about. We've got lambs to weigh, my cheviot lambs that I showed a while back. I'm gonna run them through the scales because usually I'm not a bad gauge of the weights and, and form of the lambs, but because I've showed them, I'm just not that sure. Does anyone else, these 14 foot Eiffel Williams trailers, it's just been washed, that's why it looks quite good. But tires, almost every time I'm out of this thing, I'm going through tires. Now don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sore on it. Like I probably hit like a curb on every corner I drive round but they are wild the tyres you go through I suppose it's the places you've got like that one's soft too <laughs> that one's that one's done too but that's the great thing they've got three on each side so you only really need two inflated ones to do the job this guy why did you jump out why did you get back up here why doing why doing she doesn't do that when we're on the road, thankfully. First job, we're going to put the Jacobs and that little Shetland rascal back out with the main flock of ewes here, and they'll be running up with a Texel tup, or the Texel tup will be running up with them for the next little while. Click that subscribe button. We really want to push this on and grow it as big as we possibly can. I'm loving making these videos, loving engaging with all you guys that are commenting and interacting with me through Facebook, Instagram, the YouTube comments, it's absolutely fantastic. And sheep are just amazing. And the sheep community is massive. So click subscribe, come along for this sheep farming journey. How you doing? I mean, I love my iPhone, but does anyone else have bother like this? She's in some neck. A few people have asked me now, what are the waterproofs that I wear? They are hydro wear, simply no sweat. I first got into these for crutching lambs, when you're obviously working quite hard and getting a sweat up, you don't sweat in these. They have a lining, a mesh lining. I'll show you just now, let's open them up. Get them from Tarf Valley, of course. We love Tarf Valley here. Oh, bro. So this is the mesh lining here that we were talking about and that just it's basically a barrier between you and the waterproof membrane and it stops you sweating look like a uh, super mario or something so we're at this bit of wintering where the lambs are these are the achievement lambs we've shown we're going to go and get them in i've put the drone up i've put it on active track so hopefully it'll follow me while i run around these lambs save me taking this camera
obviously when I said that it's no sweat, you still sweat a lot, but the difference is they don't make you sweat the same way like Jocks, Flexathane, Betacraft or whatever they are, they make you sweat. I am lashed with sweat because as you saw there, my plan with the drone doesn't work when the sheep run down into the trees and the drone can't fly in and follow me and then it just loses me and I was soaked in sweat and I nearly fell in the river there. I've not seen the drone footage back yet but I wonder if it catches me sliding down the banking. Bricking myself, catching a bit of wire to hold me up and potentially just save my life. Sheep farming, it's a dangerous, dangerous game. So, cheviots, those wee things are fat as hell. That's the annoying thing, they're just being cheviots. A lot of cheviot lambs in here, cheviot mules. They were all shown as we saw in a previous video. We'll run them through the scales here that Jock's just trying to get out yourself because I'm messing about with the camera. And we'll see what weights they are. I've actually no idea with these. Gonna be some at 40 kilos. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they're rang with your own. I can't see the thing. Well, well, just come around this side then. <laughs> I'm not used to working it that way. Which it depends at home, it was always the other way, your right hand. You want to do the rubbish job and I'll stand here and be the farmer. Things are wet, it's Ayrshire, it's December, but lamb trade's good, we're not complaining. Better not put the camera on the scales because it rattles too much. Not a bad start. That first time you lamb's 40 kilos. Let it run. 40 uh, kilos, but it's a good start. Oh, it came back in. Ah, these wee mule things on the bit out. They're fleshy. <laughs> this skill's right. Oh, that's what I'm It's enough to be that it's weight. It's not 48 kilos, is it? You said they were accurate. Does it get bricks in below? It's not 50 kilos. It's not 50 kilos, I'm not. So, as I said previously, I don't own any sheep skills. I usually just do it by hand, but with these things that I've been showing, I really wasn't sure. It was just throwing my eye, my eye a little bit. <laughs> Seeing this lamb's 48 kilos, but my brain, and obviously jocks think the same, it's like, can he be 48 kilos? Do you know what weight you are? Bang on. Oh, can I can. What weight are you? I'm like 80 or something. You 80 kilos? Uh, Mate, you need to do a bit of exercise. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm 85 and I'm about five, four inches taller. Uh, right. I'll spray it in now. It's just in case we turn out that it's accurate. Let it run, let it run. Come on, lass. Come on. Come on. Right. Aye, it says 80. Is that lamb 48 kilos? So the wool. The wool's wet. The bull, I mean, the wool will be worth, <laughs> realistically, the wool probably is worth three, two kilos in there, soaking wet. Uh, go and stand that again. 78, I think that's more. I've lost a wee bit of weight. Well, I think that lamb's probably 50 kilos. Aye. Right, right, okay. We'll take it as gospel, we'll take it as gospel. 48 kilos, better do something with that on Monday. It's good if Jock just tells me they're fleshy, it saves me get my hands wet and cold. It's got a good system this. I've got to read the scale and press the wee, th I've got to press this wee button so it's not that I'm not working. What's that? 45 again. One of those days where the rain comes on heavy, goes off again, so obviously being a fair weather farmer, I just stand in the trailer. I actually only really bring the trailer so I've got a nice wee shelter. <laughs> right, Joke says we've just to man up and go on with it. But I said to him, Joke, don't talk like that. Because I tell you what, the women in farming are a damn sight harder than the men in farming. He says, Cammy, you're right. Sorry. He says, just get a grip and get a jacket on. So that's what I've done. And uh, get a jacket on means get a jacket on. It's like not just about sheep, it's about the Scots language and the beauty of it. So that's us finished here. 
weighing those lambs, as you saw, we had quite a few at really good weights. Anywhere between sort of 38 and 44 kilos is kind of optimum weights for selling lambs. So we had plenty over that and around that to go to market. And they're going to be going on Monday. One thing I was going to say, I know a lot of you from America and Canada will watch Sandy Brock. And Sandy, I know you watch some of the vlogs as well, which is great. We love your work here. But I envy you so much when you're weighing your lambs and it's just a nice clean shed. It's all a proper professional system. Here in Scotland, we just work about in the muck all winter. It is what it is. We're happy. That's the main thing. What, Jock, are we happy? Very happy. We're very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wet and mucky, but we're happy. And the dogs are happy. Are you guys happy? Are you happy? You're happy, you're happy Meg. And Sky, you're never happy, but that's okay. That's okay. Anyway, let's jump to Monday morning and I'm gonna be loading the lambs. Let's go. And it's Monday. Good morning, sheep fans. Two good mornings in the one video. It's wild, it's wild. It's quite early. It's another one of those ones where I'm just off the night shift, straight to the field. I've got these lambs to gather in again. I forgot to bring an extra gate for the pens, so they're just open-ended. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna separate the lambs yet. I forgot about that little problem. Adapt and overcome, we'll work something out. First things first, get lambs in here. Lambs in, and this is my solution. Adapt and overcome. I've just put another gate in the front, so I've made a very wide race here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the little lambs and throw them over the side, and I'll have, hopefully, a pen of good heavy lambs left. <laughs> oh, that's painful. My morning is going so well. Just caught the side of my jacket on a barbed wire fence. First day wearing it as well. Ripped it wide open. <laughs> Quite love the sheep game. The lambs are loaded up onto the trailer. Let's head to Lanark. It's a beautiful day for a run through to Lanark. So that's as much as we get to see here at Lanark just now. With the current restrictions, obviously we still can't go into the market and see them getting weighed and sold. So what we'll do is we'll wait to hear from them later on how they sold and how they weighed out on the scales here and we'll update you. Let's jump to that now. So it's a few days later. I've casually got my nice work in progress whiskey collection behind me and I haven't filmed a bit for the end of this video. So I'm gonna quickly, very quickly sum it up so you can get this video finished. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you got this far, you must have clicked that subscribe button. I'm not saying that again. I know the regulars hate hearing that part. So we sold 41 lambs this day and they averaged 84 pounds per head. But the big thing was the scales were miles off. And I knew that at the time when I was filming it there, you could see I was like, ah, can he be 48 kilos? But then we weighed Jock, and it seemed to be fairly accurate within one or two kilos, so fair enough. But the lambs averaged out at 40 kilos, 
so we just made it and there was like I didn't take any lambs that were 40 kilos, everything was 40 and above. So probably the scale's not just 100% there. Maybe just a hard weekend, they lost a bit of weight. I don't know. Anyway, we had 41 lambs, averaged out at 40 kilos and 84.29 per head, which worked out roughly 209 pence, two pounds and nine pence per kilo, which is not a bad rate. They went through his Chivet lambs, which just about all of them were. It's another decent go at the market. We'll pay a few outstanding bills that I've got and keep things champing on. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you for the next one. Just had to pull over because there's so much smoke coming off that wheel. It's not turning round for some reason, so let's just put some air in it. Make life a bit easier, eh?